calling this the prelude, the prelude to my sawmill builds. I have spent two years watching every video I can find on the subject. And I'm going to use a little bit of everybody's ideas to build a sawmill. Uh, this sawmill will be built with the use of a homeowner's home shop bandsaw. It's uh, a bandsaw with 14 inch wheels, 13 and 3 quarter to be exact. Uh, they have rubber tires on them. <clears throat> it is um, uh, ball bearing, so I don't have to worry about bushings. The frame is cast iron, <clears throat> so it makes it very strong. The frame is also in two pieces. And uh, I've done my research on blade length. I think with little effort I can stretch the frame out on this to be a 117 inch blade. Now um, the previous blade was 94 I believe it was and a half, 93 and a half something like that <clears throat> but the available blade length is 117. Um, it'll be an inch and a quarter wide. It'll be the hardened teeth probably a 10 degree. Um, I have found some, right now they're on sale at about $16 per, so I will uh, use, employ that. The biggest thing is, is, I'm doing this as a cheapskate, and I mean a cheapskate. Many people use uh, steel, uh, all steel, for the bed I'm going to use uh, probably 4x4s and 4x6 and bed rail. Bed rail is easy for anybody to pick up. I don't know why there are so many bed rails, but they seem to be everywhere. Um, I will try to show you step by step uh, the log hold downs are going to be some of the same things you've seen <clears throat> if you've been watching any bandsaw videos. Um, I am at a loss right now to tell you much more than that. Uh, this is the prelude. I already have uh, video number one showing you the bandsaw up on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.